we go. We're back in with Haunted Hotel 18, room 18, 1818. It's all the 18s. We're in suite 18. Well, that's the name of the hotel, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Nevada. Ah, Utah, Nevada. Okay, okay. So wait, is Salt Lake City? That's in Utah, right? <laughs> oh god, I'm such a... Let's talk about American geography. No, we got a game to play here. Una, you don't get snow where you are, except in the mountains. And it's summer right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't see snow for ages, for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's talk to James. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. I hope that helps, James. Let's go. That's it? <laughs> wow. So few words. Thank you. This crown is quite elegant. Do you know where it belongs? I think it goes on the mermaid, doesn't it? Do I know where Pennsylvania is? Okay, so if I drive from Toronto and I go around Lake Ontario and I hit Niagara Falls, then I go through Buffalo and I drive south, west, I guess. Is it the I-90 or the I-190 or something? And then it's like just south of New York State, isn't it? I think. We don't get much snow in Florida? Yeah, Teresa, I wouldn't think so. You live in Oklahoma and we don't get that much snow either? Really? Oklahoma? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. If it doesn't go in the mermaid, it bloody well should. Exactly. I mean, look at this. It's gotta, right? It has to. Look. We put on her beautiful bracelets and... It has to. <gasps> it does. Whew. Oh boy. Yay. Was I close, Stephanie? Was I on the right right ballpark there? I just need to have a Google map up to <laughs> guide me there, you know? Ooh, empty perfume bottle. And toothpaste. I think that has to go here or something. Oh, that's a squishy noise. Oh, that's so squishy. <sighs> what is this going to do? <laughs> oh, the sound effects are priceless. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was lovely. You don't get any snow at all. Yeah, aren't you down in, like, Central America or something? Like, you're down in... Uh beautiful warm land, right? I don't know. We get all the extremes up in Canada, right? Where in the summers it can be 20, 30 Celsius, and the winters it can be minus 20, minus 30. It's crazy. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. Move the key to the upper line and push it out from behind the glass. Hmm. Tap the arrow on the sides of the glass to move the tiles in one row or one column. Hmm. So how does this work? Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Huh. Interesting. What's the rotate do? You're in Mississippi? We don't get a lot of snow either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mississippi. Hmm. I always get Mississippi and Missouri mixed up. Are they even close to each other? Wait, Mississippi. Is that near, like, Alabama? In, like, Louisiana? Something like that? You're ready for the warm weather. Wait, Chelsea. Wait, 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 wait. You're in Oklahoma. You don't get much snow. So, what do you consider warm weather in Oklahoma? And I love that we're having, like, geography class here. This is great. <laughs> I love it. So what, like, I'm not exactly sure what, what these are doing. Uh, you live in Mexico City. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Mexico City for work. Uh, it was actually on the outskirts, but I flew into Mexico City and then drove to some factories. Mexico City is uh, fun. Definitely a lot of fun there. 
I've mentioned it before, I've been to Mexico maybe five, six times in my life and uh, never had a bad trip. Absolutely love it down there. Okay, so how do I get these out of the way? Interesting. So what does this do? Huh. I find this very confusing. Hmm. Next to Alabama and Louisiana. Ah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm basically in Ontario, is the name of the province. Or, like, you know, you would call it a state. Okay, so can I... I don't understand why this won't scooch it up there. Interesting. How does this help me at all? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Can I move this to the... No? This is very confusing. How do I get it up there? Hmm. 80 or 90 degrees is my warm weather? Hmm. Do you get a lot of snow? Uh, Lisa, like, again, it depends on your definition of snow or, or a lot, but like I said, a few days ago, we had 20 centimeters, uh, probably closer to 25. So you're talking like nine or 10 inches in one snowfall. But I mean, I'll be honest with you, when you go to like Buffalo and every, every all those kind of areas along Lake Erie, they have a lot of snow. Like, it's ridiculous how much snow Buffalo gets. And the reason why I know how much snow Buffalo gets is because where I live in Ontario, like, it's along Lake Ontario, so the lake effect is the same, but it's different. Like, I just... We share a lot of similarities with Buffalo just because of proximity to the border. You know what I mean? Like, if you lived close... If you lived in Windsor, which is on kind of, like, the southern tip of Ontario, you would be talking about Detroit. Because Windsor and Detroit are like, you know, close cities, right? Stuff like that. Yeah, no, no, seriously. Um, yeah, obviously, like, Mexico is a big city. There's no doubt about it, right? So there's a lot going on. But I just found, like, everything about, like, the people and the food and, like, the hospitality was always it's just lovely. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't understand this puzzle. I'm confused. I'm not sure I understand how this works. You need to move the key to the upper line and push it out from behind the glass. Tap the arrows on the side to move the tile in one row or column. So this won't move down, but it will move left. And this won't move down, but it will move left. This won't move at all. Hmm. What's my favorite province besides Ontario? Wow, no one's ever asked me that. Huh. Huh. You know what? Honestly, Stephanie, my favorite province outside of Ontario is Quebec. And you know why? It has a very European feel to it. Like when you go to like Montreal or Quebec City, you feel like you're in a different place. Like it's just the, the cities have that sort of European feel. I mean, they, they obviously speak Quebecois, like which is a version of French there. So you immediately you're like thrust into like a different language and just the kind of vibe you get. It's like, yeah, I would say Quebec. I would say Quebec. For sure. So you're trying to get the key in the upper right. Yeah, I'm trying to get the key up here. So I, this piece has to get like here somehow, I think. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that. 
so that's sort of my problem right now. Uh, like I just, this needs to be out of here somehow. Oh, what do you, oh, it does move down. I, f I find it fascinating that this game moves from like stupid easy to like ridiculous. <laughs> like, what is this? Do you speak French when you're there? Um, I, uh, like, I, I, I read French decently. Um, my French, like, abilities is more based on confidence. So, uh, like, I understand basic French and I can read it. But I'm too, like, nervous to speak it, you know? So, like, I can make very smart, very smart, very short sort of conversation, but nothing too complicated, you know? Your brother-in-law is from Alabama. Cool, cool. Yeah, I actually don't really know what this is all about. This is very challenging. Let's see... So if I go here, um, how do I get this up here though? Wait, 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 wait. Move that up. And if I move this up, then it won't go up. This won't go anywhere. Parlez-vous français? Petit pas. It's basically, do you speak French? A little bit. Où est la salle de bain? Where's the bathroom? I worked in uh, Quebec when I was in college. I worked there for a couple semesters. And uh, it's funny, I lived in Ottawa, but I would take the bus across to a hall, which is on the other side, between Ontario and Quebec. And uh, you had a lot of French, French people that work there too. And I worked in government. I worked for the Ministry of the Environment when I was a young pup. Wow. Okay, so I just, I really don't understand how this is physically possible to do this. Um, this is interesting. So what does this do for me? can't move this. This won't move up. And I don't know what these are supposed to do. Oh, come on. That was like barely even close to being like good French. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> it is funny because when in Ontario, you still have to, to learn French, right? Because Canada is a bilingual country. And by law, our federal government has to operate its services in French and in Canadian, or French and English. So as a as a student, you had to take French for, geez, I don't know, probably like maybe grade two all the way through high school. And if you want to, you can go to like French only schools where they basically go from kindergarten all the way up to like grade twelve, right? But my French is really just in my brain and it would have to like be activated, you know? It's on standby, it's, it's in its, <laughs> it's in a waiting pose here. <sighs> okay, I need to know what to do here. This is ridiculous. You wanna learn Native American, that's cool. Okay, so we went from like one really hard puzzle to 20 easies to another hard one here. Oh, oh yeah, we just skipped the bottle one, but who's keeping score? Good lord. So there's your solution, folks. Like, I understand what I need to do. I just don't physically understand the mechanics of how this works. It looks like these two buttons are completely useless. <laughs> Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Very nice, very nice. 
I think the easiest thing to think about French is you don't pronounce the S's or the T's at the end of words, right? That's a simple thing. No, this puzzle is just, you know, it is what it is. I, I just find the mechanics of it a bit clunky and uh, frankly, it's unnecessarily challenging just because the controls are just a little janky. Okay, so let me see here. So basically what it's saying is, and I gotta draw this now. You have a little bit of Native American in you. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Skip. No, 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 Lisa. No, no. We'll, we'll do this one. We'll do this one. So it's A, B, C. And then it goes E, F. E, F, G, H. I'm just drawing this down on a piece of paper here. On a post note. And then basically it's Q, R. And then S, T. Okay. Let's try it. What does that mean, though, Stephanie? What's the translation of Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? I feel like that's in the song, isn't it? But what's it mean in English? I want to know. <laughs> Tell me everything. Okay, so apparently... Let's reset this bad boy. I, I think if I get the initial gist of it, maybe I'll understand the mechanics of it. That's kind of my hope right now. We'll see how this works. 